Good, Good morning, morning Dundalk, Dundalk Elementary School. Happy Monday. Today is Monday, November the 15th. I cannot believe it's November the 15th already. We hope that you had a wonderful weekend. And if you're willing to do so, go ahead and stand for the Pledge of the Flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. And let's go ahead and say our Dundas Elementary School promise. All right, Mr. Gary, you ready? All right, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. We, we are peaceful with our words and our actions. actions. We, we are, are responsible, responsible for one another and ourselves. ourselves. Not off with the clap this morning. <laughs> we, we are, are respectful, respectful of people and things. We, we are enthusiastic and always work with excellence. excellence. And that reminds me, before we even start this morning, I forgot the shout out from last week. Last week, Miss Swinder sent me this shout out, and I had put it to the side, and I just wanted to make sure I read it, even though it was from last week. Daryl and Miss Roder's class showed the virtue of self-discipline and responsibility by being a role model and a leader within the gym. Daryl was peaceful, handled gym equipment well, and was a leader for his peers. Way to go showing that you are able to follow that Dundalk Elementary School promise each day and more. Way to go, Daryl. Good job. And as well, um, I know that Ms. Carpus has continued and continued to put up those um, shout-outs in the hallway with pictures and those virtues that were shown. So make sure that you check that out on your way by today. Um, I know Ms. Carpus works really hard to get those, mm-hmm. those posters put up there. So we appreciate her efforts to do that. Um, as well as the positive office referrals, keep them coming. I am seeing lots of names written on that wall, so keep those positive office referrals coming, and I know that your families are really, really, really glad um, to get those positive calls. And that brings me to what is our new virtue of the week this week? So this week's virtue is compassion. Compassion. Okay. So it says, compassion is understanding and caring when someone is hurt or troubled, even if you don't know them. It is wanting to help, even if all you can do is listen and say kind words. You forgive mistakes. You are a friend when someone needs a friend. So some ways that you can practice compassion is by noticing when someone is hurt or needs a friend. Mm -hmm. Imagine how they must be feeling. Take time to show that you care. Ask how they are listening. Sorry. Ask how they are and listen patiently. Forgive others when, when they make mistakes um, and are also are helpful to per, to a person or animal in need and stuff. So I kind of like yeah. how they kind of put forgiveness from last week in mm-hmm. here too. Like talking yeah, about forgiving so we're still mistakes. still working on that one from last week. And I, 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 the compassion is, when I always think of compassion, I think of putting yourself in someone else's mm-hmm. shoes. You know, how would you feel if you were experiencing what they're <clears throat> experiencing? Kind of like um, empathy. It is. Compassion mm-hmm. is very, very close to empathy. Um, making sure that you know, we're checking in on our friends, um, on the, you know, how they're feeling each day. And if you can tell that someone's not feeling mm-hmm. their best, you know, sometimes we just know and someone's not their self. Um, that's compassion. Mm-hmm. And when you ask, are you okay? How are you? Um, even just that simply is showing compassion. I also like that it put are helpful to a person or animal in need. Mm-hmm. I knew there was an animal, yet last week I saw that we had a, a dog here at um, mm-hmm. Dundalk Elementary School that some of our students... Um, and our staff were able to take care of and make sure, yeah. and then he found his home. So oh, that was, really? Yeah, that's that, good. Yeah. That's good. So, um, I, so that's showing compassion right there. That was a mm-hmm. compassionate thing to do. Um, and our golden spatula winners from Friday. In kindergarten, we had Miss Roder's class. Oh, good job. In guys. first grade, we had Miss Keener's class. In second grade, we had Miss Bickle's class. In third grade, we had Miss Fangio's class. In fourth grade, we had Miss Ashton's class. And in fifth grade, we had Miss Chappelle's class. And with that said, absolutely, Miss Bickle um, was able to send me an email and let me know they did hit their two golden oh, spatula wow. goals. So t- at least 20 golden wow. spatulas from Miss Bickle's That's class. incredible. If your class has met your second goal and you've met 20 golden spatulas, please send me an email so that I can shout you out. For Mr. Kelsey's band and orchestra schedule for today, he has the viola and the cello from 1225 to 110 today. 
Also, if you have joined the newspaper club, I'm so excited to hear how the, the newspaper mm -hmm. club goes. It sounded like so much fun. They, you will be meeting tomorrow morning at 7.40 a.m., okay? So newspaper club starts tomorrow at 7.40 a.m. with Miss Chappelle. Birthdays. We had some weekend birthdays. Mm -hmm. On the 13th, which was Saturday, we had Driani in, in kindergarten. And we had Ryan in pre-K. Happy birthday yeah, to the, happy those birthday, friends. Guys. Yesterday on the 14th, we had Antonio in the fourth grade, Khalil in pre-K, Olga in the fifth grade, and Anthony in the fourth grade. So happy birthday, happy to, birthday to all of those everyone. friends. And then we have two birthdays today. We have Santiago in pre-K, and we have Joshua in kindergarten. So happy, yeah, birthday happy birthday to all of those friends. Lots of November birthdays. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that that's all for this morning. Mm -hmm. One thing I did want to add for teachers, be looking out for your email this week. Mr. Garrett's working on getting something made up for you because we're hoping to come to you live Bye. very soon. Mm -hmm. um, some updates have been made within the broadcast studio and within BCPS. Um, Safari Montage is is now I think oh, it's up and running. It's now, up and so running. It so, took a while since that ransomware attack, but mm -hmm. now it's back. So we're but, going to be looking that f to try and figure how <laughs> all that works out now. Yep. So we're working on getting all of that um, figured out and getting some directions to you to make sure that you're able to access it mm -hmm. um, and get that up and running. So be looking for that soon, and hopefully we'll be coming to you live within the next few weeks. Um. I think that that's everything. It was mm -hmm. cold this morning. It it's a cold, cold day. It's going to yeah. be cold this morning. And then midweek, it's going to be 70. I think it said Wednesday or Tuesday was going to be 70 degrees. So we're going cold and we're going to go back to warm and then we're going to go back down again. Oh, let's go see what's, what is today's high supposed to be? I don't know. Right what now it's like 40 degrees. And windy. Yeah, very windy. It could start to get really windy on Saturday. And it then did. I feel like it really hasn't left. It looks like today's going to be high at just 54 degrees, it's so it's going to be like a true silly. fall day today. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. You have a Bye. wonderful day, and we will see you around. Make it count.